Hello, this is Klaus from Quantulex, and in this video I will explain how to use data binding in our new REST component. Let's start by creating a new prototype. We give it a name and we choose a screen factor, for instance iPhone 6. First, we create a screen. This screen has a headline and a button that allows the users to browse the pets that are listed in this app. Now we add a second screen. The idea is that the users click on the browse button and will see a list of all the pets that are in the app. To do so, we create first a REST service that we place between the two screens. We link the browse button to the REST service and we link the REST service to the second screen. Now we configure the REST service. First, we enter a URL from where the data will be loaded and we enter output variable. In this case, we call it pets. We can now use the test button to load the data and inspect it. Now we add a grid element to the second screen. The grid allows it to repeat widgets that are placed within it. So we place it on the screen and now let's start designing. So first we enter a big kind of headline thingy to show the name of the pet. Afterwards, we add a second text element to show the weight of the pad. Also, we add a camera image element. Now, we select the grid element and we add a data binding to it. In this case, we select the pads variable that we have defined as the output from the REST service. This means all data that was loaded from the REST service will be forwarded to the grid. Now, we select one of the text elements for instance the headline, and also create a data binding. When we create a new variable, you see that there is a type head. We choose the pets.name variable. We do the same for the weights. In this case we choose pets.facts.weight, because this is the structure of the JSON element. Last, we add the data binding for the image element. We select the image element and select data binding. Now we select pets.image because there is an image URL that the widgets can show. When we launch the simulator and click on the browse button, we can see that the grid has now been populated with the data from the REST service. Now let's add a third screen to show some details about the pets that are shown in the grid. First, we create a new screen. Afterwards, we add a button to the grid and call it More. We wire the More button to the new screen. We have to tell the simulator that it should react on the click by forwarding the selected item to a new variable. We create a variable called Selected and click on Out. This means that if a user clicks on the button, the selected pet will be written to the selected variable. Now we go to the second screen and add a headline, an image, information about the weight and about uh, the description. We wire all these elements with the appropriate variables. We select the name widget and click on data binding. Now we have to create a new data binding. We choose the select variable and have to use the name property. So we write selected.name. We do the same for the image. We open the data binding dialog and enter selected.image so that the widget can show the image URL that is stored in the image property. We do the same for the weight, the height and the description. If we start the simulator and click on browse, you can see the list. If we click on more, you can see that all the data that is stored for the cat object is shown on the new page. Thanks for watching this video. If you have questions, just drop us a comment below or visit us at our website quantux.com where you can sign up for free.